UPM Kimin OYJ is a Finnish forest industry company. UPM Kimin was formed by the merger of Kimin Corporation with Ripola Oi and its subsidiary United Paper Mills Limited in 1996. UPM consists of six business groups, UPM Biorefining, UPM Energy, UPM Rafletac, UPM Paper Asia, UPM Paper Ina and UPM Plywood. The group employs around 19,600 people and it has production plants in 13 countries. UPM shares are listed on the Nasdaq OMX Helsinki Stock Exchange. UPM is the only paper company which is listed in the Dow Jones Sustainability Indices and the only forest industry company invited to the United Nations Global Compact Lead Sustainability Leadership Platform. UPM is the owner and maintainer of the Verla Mill, which has been a museum since 1972 and a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1996. Topic Board of Directors Bjorn Walrus, Chairman Bernd Bruno, Deputy Chairman PIIA Nora Kalpi Wendy E. Lane UC Pezinen Veli Mati Reinikala Kim Wall Ari Puholwanen Suzanne Toma Henrik Ernruth Topic Group Executive Team UC Pezinen President and CEO Perko Harala Executive Vice President Stakeholder Relations Tapio Korpinen, CFO, Executive Vice President, UPM Energy Yuha Makela, General Counsel Yuri Ovaska, Executive Vice President, Technology Rita Sevanlati, Executive Vice President, Human Resources Heike Vapala, Executive Vice President, UPM Biorefining Antti Joskilainen, Executive Vice President, UPM Rafletak Winfried Schauer, Executive Vice President, UPM Paper Ina Bernd Eikens, Executive Vice President, UPM Specialty Papers Mika Silen Pa, Executive Vice President, UPM Plywood, Kerry Stahlberg, Executive Vice President, Strategy History The company's oldest mill was Papeteries de Docelles located in northeastern France, which produced traditional handpaper at the end of 15th century. The mill got its first paper-making machine in 1830s. UPM Docelles was disbanded in 2014. The company has a long tradition of forest industries in Finland. There the company's first paper mills and sawmills were put into operation in the beginning of the 1870s. Pulp manufacturing began in the 1880s and paper converting in 1920s. The company started manufacturing plywood in the 1930s. Several Finnish forest industry companies have merged with the forerunner companies of UPM, such as, Walkiakowski, Jamsinkowski, Kaukas, Hala, Kajani, Tapila, Kimin, Kusinkowski, Kaimi, Voika, Lojan Papery Oi, Will. 
Shaman, W. Rosenlu, Raff. Harla and Milikowski. The company logo, the Griffin, was designed by Hugo Simberg in 1899. It is probable that the Griffin was chosen as the company logo because it represents a guardian of the northern forests. The Griffin logo is the oldest continuous company logo in Finland. Topic 2000 to 2010. Due to worldwide overproduction of paper, UPM announced a cost reduction program in 2006. Voika paper mill in Kusinkoski was closed. Nearly 3,000 employees in Finland were laid off. After the closure, the area has been transformed into Voika business area. The Repap Mill in Miramichi, New Brunswick, which was purchased by UPM in 2000, was closed in 2007 because of economic pressures in the North American forest industry. In September 2008, UPM closed Kajani Paper Mill and Tervasari Pulp Mill. 1001 100 employees were laid off. The former premises of the Kajani Mill were turned into a business park called Renforsen Ranta. In 2009, UPM Schotten Paper won the Queen's Award for Enterprise. Topic 2010. In 2010 UPM announced it will acquire Milikowski Corporation and Rhine Papier GmbH, which consists of seven publication paper mills in Germany, Finland and the United States. The transaction has been approved by regulatory authorities in 2011. In 2011, UPM's environmental investments totaled 14 million euros, 18 million, the largest being low NOx burners for gas boilers at the Schongau paper mill in Germany. Topic: <laughs> Businesses UPM products include pulp, paper, plywood, sawn timber, labels and composites, bioenergy, biofuels for transport, biochemicals and nano products. The company is the world's leading producer of graphic papers and second largest producer of self-adhesive label materials. The Energy Business Group produces electricity with nuclear power, water power, condensing power and wind power. UPM is the second largest owner of nuclear power in Finland with 541 megawatts through owning over 40% of nuclear operator Pojolan Voima. UPM began the production of coated fine paper sheets at its Kaimi mill in Kovola in autumn 2012. In 2014 a UPM biorefinery was built in Lapinranta, Finland. The refinery produces renewable diesel for traffic use. Topic: <laughs> Business areas. UPM has been restructured into six business groups in the fall of 2013. These groups are connected with a common idea, to create value from renewable and recyclable raw materials by synthesizing them with know-how and technology. UPM biorefining UPM energy UPM Raflatak UPM Specialty Papers UPM Paper Ina UPM Plywood Topic 
UPM biorefining UPM biorefining consists of pulp, paper and biofuel functions. UPM has four modern pulp factories, three in Finland and one in Uruguay, and also four mills in Finland. In 2014 a biorefinery producing renewable biodiesel will commence operating in Lapinranta. The pulp factories produce 3,5 million tons of high-quality pulp annually. 55,6% of the company's profits came from biorefining in 2014. Topic UPM Energy UPM Energy produces electricity from water, nuclear, condensate, and wind. UPM is the second largest nuclear owner in Finland. UPM owns 44,3% of Pohjolan Voima Oy, which produces around 15 terawatt hours annually. UPM also owns nine hydro power plants in Finland. UPM Energy made 33,9% of the company's profits in 2013. UPM Raflatak UPM Raflatak paper and film laminates are used for product and information labeling across a wide range of end uses, from pharmaceuticals and security to food and beverage applications. <laughs> UPM Paper Asia and UPM Paper Ina UPM has 20 paper mills in Finland, Germany, Great Britain, France, Austria, China and the United States. Several of the factories work simultaneously as recycling centers and as producers of bioenergy. Compared by revenue, paper production is still the largest business group of the company. Topic UPM Plywood UPM is the biggest plywood manufacturer in Europe. The plywood operations consists of seven factories in Finland, Estonia, and Russia. Topic Other businesses. UPM offers a wide selection of different services for forest owners. UPM possesses 825,000 hectares of forest in Finland. All of the company's forests are certified, most of the wood needed for the UPM factories is acquired from private forests of Finland. UPM is acquiring all kinds of wood and uses it to produce pulp, paper, plywood and energy. UPM is the biggest private landowner in Finland. UPM refines UPM Bonvesta properties from its real estates. Topic: <laughs> Environment and Responsibility. The production of UPM is based on renewable raw materials which are biodegradable and recyclable. Every UPM pulp and paper mill in Europe and the UPM Frey Bentos in Uruguay are EMAs certified. In 2013 the paper mill in Changshu was the first paper mill in China to receive such a certificate. 78% of electricity produced by the company is carbon dioxide neutral. 
UPM is the only paper company which is listed in the Dow Jones Sustainability Indices and the only forest industry company invited to the United Nations Global Compact LEED Sustainability Leadership Platform. The company's key areas in environmental responsibility are sustainable products, climate, water, forest and waste. Topic: Bio4 UPM has created the term Bio4 to describe new forest industry. Bio stands for Sustainable Solutions and Environmental Performance. For stands for Forest and the company's position at the forefront of the development. The Bio4 term is also used in the company's slogan, UPM, the Bio4 company. <laughs> Global operations. UPM's products are manufactured in 13 countries and the company has a worldwide sales network. UPM's production plants are located in Austria, Brazil, China, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Malaysia, Poland, Russia, UK, Uruguay and USA. Topic: China. UPM owns two production units in China: UPM Changshu Paper Mill and UPM Raflatak Changshu Label Stock Factory. Changshu is located in the province of Jiangsu by the Yangtze River, some 100 kilometers from Shanghai. In 2012 UPM announced that it will build a new wood-free speciality paper machine at its Changshu Mill in China. The machine was to start up by the end of 2014. France UPM owns two production units in France. The UPM Chapelle d'Arblay paper mill, located near Rouen, France's major port for wood and paper products, and the label stock factory UPM Raflatac Pompey, Nancy, located in Pompey, 10 km north of Nancy and 40 km south of Metz. Germany. UPM owns eight production units in Germany. Paper Mills UPM Augsburg Paper Mill, located by the River Lech in the city of Augsburg, a town in southern Germany, some 65 km from Munich UPM Ettringen Paper Mill, in the town of Ettringen UPM Hearth Paper Mill, located in the town of Hearth UPM Nordland Papier, located in Dorpen, a village in northwestern Germany, some 250 km from Hamburg UPM Plattling Paper Mill, located in the town of Plattling UPM Shangao Paper Mill, located in the city of Shangao, a town in Upper Bavaria UPM Schwett Paper Mill, located in Uckermark in Brandenburg, near the German-Polish border there is also a wood plastic composite factory in Germany, UPM Profi, Bruchel Wood Plastic Composite Factory, located in Bruchel approximately 20 km northeast of Karlsruhe in the state of Baden-Württemberg. Distance to Frankfurt is some 120 km and to Stuttgart some 80 km. Topic: 
Topic UK UPM owns three production units in the United Kingdom. Paper Mills UPM Caledonian Paper Mill, located in Irvine, North Ayrshire a coastal town in southwestern Scotland, some 30 miles from Glasgow UPM Shotton Paper Mill, located in Shotton in the district of Deeside in the county of Flintshire in northeastern Wales, close to the estuary of the River Dee. Some 8 miles to Chester, 35 miles to Manchester there is also a label stock factory in the UK, UPM Rafflatac, Scarborough. Topic: Uruguay. UPM has a pulp plant in Fray Bentos, Uruguay. The productions located in Uruguay consist of bleached hardwood craft pulp (BHKP) from eucalyptus. UPM's pulp mills produce renewable energy in their recovery boilers and provide CO2 neutral biomass based electricity for the Uruguayan markets. In 2011, UPM expanded plantation grounds in Uruguay. In February 2011, UPM announced a plan to build a second nursery in Uruguay to secure the availability of high-quality seedlings and seed material. Argentine and Uruguay had conflict of UPM emissions in 2013. Metza Botnia, a part of Metza Group, opened Fray Bento's factory in Uruguay in 2007. It produced annually a million tons of cellulose. Until the end of 2009 the owners of Metza Botnia were M Real 30%, Metza Group X Metzolito equals Finn Forest 23% and UPM Kimine UPM 47% and since the end of 2009 UPM 91% and Metsa Group 9% equals topic Indonesia equals UPM was criticized by Greenpeace from the pulp commerce with April in November 2009. At the time Greenpeace stopped April from cutting down rain forest in Indonesia Sumatra. UPM informed that the pulp trade with April ends in near months as its new factory in Uruguay will start. UPM does not practice pulp trade with April anymore. Equals. Topic: Table of production sites. Equals. Equals. Topic: Biofuels. equals UPM aims to become a major player in advanced biofuels The company is developing new business on wood-based biofuels for transport The brand name for the future biofuels of UPM is UPM Bioverno the production concepts are based on non-food raw materials and they result in a significant reduction of greenhouse gas emissions. The UPM biofuels surpass both the EU and Finnish requirements for sustainable biofuels. One of the goals in the long run is to expand the production of biofuels with new processes and raw materials like pyrolysis oil and solid biomass. Biorefinery 
equals UPM has invested in a biorefinery producing biofuels from crude tall oil in Lappeenranta, Finland. The biorefinery produces annually approximately 100,000 tons of advanced second-generation biodiesel for transport. Construction of the biorefinery began in the summer of 2012 at UPM's Kalkas Mill site and was completed in 2014. UPM's total investment amounted to approximately €150 million. Euros. The construction of the biorefinery offered work for nearly 200 people for approximately two years. The biorefinery directly employs nearly 50 people and indirectly about 150 people. Biodiesel UPM is planning to produce biodiesel from forest energy wood. The raw material to be used in the production of UPM's biodiesel would mainly consist of sustainably sourced wood, logging residues, wood chips, stumps and bark. UPM has been developing gasification technology for biodiesel production with Andritz, Carbona. The initial testing program was completed in the United States as planned. UPM's biodiesel is well suited for the current diesel motor technology and fuel distribution infrastructure. Bio-oil <inaudible> 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 Bio oil will substitute heavy and light fuel oils in heating applications. The future applications of bio oil could be electricity production and transportation fuels. Pilot testing started in 2009 in Metso's Research and Development Center in Finland. The end product has already been tested in one of the Fordham's district heating boiler plants. Research and development UPM Grada equals <laughs> equals <laughs> UPM Plywood has developed a new way to manufacture layered composites and the new form of plywood is called UPM Grada at the core of the new technology is a special adhesive film which allows the plywood to be formed after manufacturing UPM Grata plywood can be safely recycled or burned at the end of its life cycle. UPM Grata plywood can be used e.g. in furniture. The Finnish furniture manufacturer Isku has introduced the new Kava chair which demonstrates the capabilities of UPM Grata plywood. <laughs> Topic UPM Profi equals equals UPM Profi composite is a biofor material that combines the best characteristics of cellulose fibers and plastic. Manufactured mainly from recycled raw material, the composite has proven to be tough and humidity resistant. The material is suitable for use in patios, terraces, piers and playgrounds. The material does not require polishing, lacquer finishing or other surface finishing. 
The material was a result of UPM's own research and product development. UPM Profi has been used in the manufacture of a pedestrian walkway in the historic city of Ghent, Belgium. Topic: <laughs> UPM for me. UPM Formi is a recyclable and odorless composite which can be used to replace plastic in many instances. UPM Formi composite granulates are manufactured from clean polymers and pulp. UPM offers the granulates in three grades for injection molding Formi GP for general use, Formi SP for special surface, and Formi TP for technical applications. The UPM Formi material has already been used in the manufacture of a mobile phone microscope, launched by Keeploop Oi. Topic: UPM biofibrils. UPM biofibrils can be used as an additive in, e.g., paints and coatings, concrete oil drilling fluids, and various other industrial applications for stabilization of particles. The raw material of UPM biofibrils is wood. The product often offers a more environmental friendly solution to traditionally used alternatives. UPM biofibrils can help make a product stronger, lighter or thinner, depending on the end use. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> World Design Capital Helsinki 2012 UPM took part in the World Design Capital Helsinki 2012. Helsinki offered a meeting place in the center of the city, a wooden pavilion, showcasing UPM wood products as the main building material. The pavilion resulted from an extensive collaboration between Aalto University, the Design Museum, the Museum of Finnish Architecture and UPM. The pavilion provided an opportunity to demonstrate how UPM's wood products and composites are implemented to meet with world-class design. See also Alstrom Alholman's Craft Power Station Stora ENSO Svenska Cellulosa Aktibolage List of Finnish companies <laughs>